Hello there guys and gals, The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and finally another Game Pass guide for the excellent Man Eater. This was developed by Tripwire Interactive, published by Trip, uh, Tripwire and Deep Silver and is usually available for £33.49 but as I said, this is on Xbox Game Pass right now so get it while the getting's get. I mean good. Uh, so this plays very much... Uh, if you haven't played it before, it plays very much as an action, open world type of game. Very much similar, like your GTAs, etc. Uh, but this time we are being a shark, and getting our shark on, and eating the crap out of everything we come across. Maybe not the literal crap part, but, I mean, they can keep that. Uh, <laughs> this is a brilliant and fun game, and I will be showing you the best, quickest way to be getting the full 1000 out of 1000. Now, bear in mind there are a lot of collectibles in each area, so I've laid out the plan like this. So with each new area, we will do all the story missions first, then grab all the collectibles, and every now and then, we'll check into our safe place, what's called a grotto in this game, and upgrade Sharky McShark Nuts a little bit. Uh, I'll explain just a little more in a little while as we get to it, but achievements-wise, basically none are missable at all. You get them for completing the game to 100%, basically, so that is a nice and easy list. You should be looking at around 10 to 15 hours to complete this, so... With that being said then, let us finally begin. And I can tell you right off the bat that this is just an... It is just an incredible game. It's a fantastic game. And it's going to be more entertaining with my deliciously Welsh beautiful voice. Yes. Now, it's worth... I, I'm going to be skipping all the cutscenes and everything. Um, but if you... It's definitely worth just... Uh, Watching the cutscenes, but I'm going to skip them. It just saves a little bit of time in the video. But if you do want, yeah, just press and hold the A button to skip any cutscenes. But like I said, definitely worth watching them because they are a laugh a minute. So here we go then. This is Sharky McShark Nuts. And this is basically just like a tutorial level. So you look up and down by pressing the right stick. Very much similar controls as well to Grand Theft Auto. Uh, so you can either invert it or not, up to you. Obviously it's the left uh, stick to move. And yeah, so this is just basically <laughs> generally a fantastic and funny game. Now the reason why this is a walkthrough is because uh, obviously there are quite a few bosses in it. Um, I'll be telling you the best upgrades to get, etc. So that is why there is one for this. But of course, you can sort of do what you want. You don't have to follow me. You've got your own life, and I like it. So press the right trigger to munch your way through fish. Left trigger, to, uh, left bumper, sorry, to tail whip your ass or their ass. There we go. We am powerful because we're eating fish. We do get our asses handed to us by bigger things a little later on, and we will see why. So just head out. Um, any sort of direction, you can obviously press start on the map, you can set your own waypoints and follow it on screen. Um, yeah, pretty much simple and obvious, but owl good. So, um, bite your way out of this gate, because that's what normally happens, right? If anyone's a shark expert, does that happen? Do they bite their way through grates? I'm not entirely sure, because I don't want my ass bitten off by a shark and my whole body. So, now we're coming up into the deliciousness that is the ocean. So, knifing is basically just sticking your fin out in the air so people know. And then people can crap their pants when they go, Oh my god, it's a shark, man. Fuck that. Um, jump, just press the A button and you can press it. If you press it three times, you sort of do a triple jump. Um, if you Obviously, if you press it twice, you do a double jump. If you press it once, you just do a one jump. It's, you know... Pretty much fairly simples. Simples. Now to submerge, press the X button. It, it it doesn't really take that much getting used to either, to be honest. Uh, but press the left trigger there to lunge as well. That basically gives you... It's basically like the sprint action, if you want. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it generally doesn't take a lot to get used to. Um, fairly simple. So it's just bloody fantastic, which is what you want. It's nice and simple, and it is very, very good. So to bridge, um, press the right trigger as you're going up, and then press the A button there as well. That'll sort of get you a little bit higher as well for things later on. Whip shout! And this is where 
you will need to get an enemy in your mouth. So press the right trigger, then press left bumper to give him a little smash in the old chin again. It's just nice. See? Seal. <laughs> Seal? Seals? They ain't got a chance. And neither has Rainbow Fish. Mahi Mahi. Yep. And there we go. So that's one out of 32 achievements unlocked already then. Bloody beautiful, mate. So now, as you can see on screen, we do have a new quest that we can go to. Now, I always advise... Um, wherever you're on your way to somewhere, just eat every fish that you can on your way. That basically just whaps your XP up. It doesn't matter so much now, but in just a little bit, uh, with the, when the story mode progresses, um, it is definitely worth just eating every fish that you can on your way to any location, uh, just to get your XP up, because of course we'll be needing that XP a lot. Uh, you do gain a lot of XP through collectibles and that anyway, so, you know, but always worth doing that. So we are now having to finally eat some humans, and apparently they don't seem too bothered. They probably just think it's a prank. Hey, it's just a fat guy. He's just doing his prank again. But until I do this, then, <laughs> honey, this no prank. I'ma eat you, and I'm gonna spit you out, and I'ma crap on your goddamn grave. That took a dark turn. But all we're doing is just eating deliciousness. Again, just keep spamming the uh, right trigger until all the health goes down. It usually takes about two or three bites, no matter what you are. Um, yeah. Destroy, destroy, destroy. So, now that bit is over then, um, do you remember, obviously, playing Grand Theft Auto, you get the uh, wanted stars, so if you kill a couple of people, one wanted star, two stars, three stars, and it gets more and more heavily involved. This is basically the same sort of thing, it's called infamy in this game. So when you kill enough humans, um, again, a little bit later on, you'll see, uh, we're just going through the combat at the minute then. Um, so you can press the right bumper, that'll sort of dodge, so every time they take aim at you, you can dodge. I'll show you where, just now, where the best place to do it. Um, but what we're going to do is basically just jump out of the water and destroy the humans and kill the humans that way. So, eat, eat the divers, they're fine. And then what we're going to do then, just remember, press the left trigger to do like a little sprint. Sorry, I said right trigger earlier on, I meant left trigger. And then, yeah, as long as we've got... Aim, um, our little sharky McShark nuts will, will basically just sort of automatically go. As long as we can just jump high enough, uh, Shark will take aim. And yeah, there we go. Happy days. And this is the way that we gain health as well. So the more fish, the more fish you eat, if you're low on health, eat some humans, eat some fish until your health gets back up. That is obviously video games down to a T. So destroy the... Uh, yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much simple. We're just defeating the boats for now. They're not too bad as soon as the target locks on there And it goes into the sort of square reticle that is when you need to dodge Excuse me by pressing the right bumper so now and then we'll just do like a little dodge And then we can go and destroy their asses again So it can <laughs> it can be kind of finicky it can get a little bit used to uh, obviously they are on boats so they are going to dodge you as much as you are trying to dodge them um but just obviously just jump high as as high as you can and then you should be able to lock on just destroy the boat for now um pff, i wouldn't want to be a shark hunter would you but legend the bull shark cannot live out of it you you got this one
game no more. Catch me this shot myself. Oh, oh, look at them teeth. Oh, she gonna make quite a man of bees. Got us some dinner coming, boys. Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. So this is our main enemy in the game, Scaly Pete. Um, but basically, what he's done, um, <laughs> we've basically—if you didn't see the cutscene—we've just basically we're a baby shark. Hey, look at the little baby shark, man! He's so cute. But now this is where the main game begins. Then, so everything you eat now—we did just eat Scaly Pete's hand. So we is super cute. Um, but yeah, so here, uh, here. Here are the main um, areas then, so obviously what we'll see for the main story missions. There's no side missions or anything like that, it's basically just a set, a bunch of set missions. We'll go to a cutscene, which we'll normally see Scaly Pete. And then of course, like I said, what we'll do is the grab the collectibles afterwards. Buy you, Willy? No thanks, i got one of my own. Thanks very much, though. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're just going through all of the... Uh, these are the upgrades which we can get when we reach the grotto, like I said, the safe place from earlier on. So for now, we just go to get little baby shark to the safe place. And we've got enemies, which, uh, well, they're not enemies. Some fish don't even bother, they just sort of let you eat them and eat them out and stuff. Matt Hancock style, dirty git. That's just British, by the way, for anyone, for anyone who wants that. By the way, if you do see any collectibles on your way, obviously, you know, you want to get more XP and stuff like that, of course, just go for it. Um, I'm just doing it. It's basically like a separate collectibles guide at the end. So those uh, nutrient caches, they're called, those boxes, they give us a lot of XP. Uh, so you can grab that now if you want. But like I said, just, just for the sake of the video, just so it's not too confusing, um, I do a completely separate collectibles, uh, collectibles guide um, at the end of every sort of area just to keep it as simple, pimple as I can. So, for now, like I said, we are just following the exclamation mark, but we're eating every fish we can, as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner. Our little puppers, little baby shark puppers. Still wouldn't like to get my hand in that, by the looks of things. Uh, but we are just following the exclamation point for the time being. And you'll, see, you'll notice when you're getting to a grotto, is just when you start seeing those, it's kind of like a wiry light, they kind of look like LED lights or something, but if you just follow that and follow it down, um, you end up in the sort of safe place slash grotto, whatever you want to call it. This is my safe place. Um, but yes, it's definitely worth just eating as many fish as you can until we get to every destination. So we've got um, a sonar ability now. Uh, tiger body, which doesn't really do much, but the sonar ability is very good. And I will explain now. So you press start and go all the way right to evolutions. Again, this is your, like your upgrade section. So we'll get another achievement here as well. Evolving for the first time. I just go onto the tiger body because it looks super cute. Um, but again, the main upgrades that we will be getting, I will explain later on. Um, but it's definitely worth getting the sonar out. So basically what... That does, if you press the B button, anything in that any small area, small radius around you, that will show up any collectibles or any of the enemies, etc. Just things like that. But it's definitely worth doing, uh, especially for the collectibles. So just press the B button, and you'll see just in the bottom left-hand corner, as soon as I get off this thing. So you can see where, when it says the B button, so you press it once, and obviously that'll refill. Basically, just like every other thing like that that we've seen in video games. Now, um, I wonder why this game is called Man Eater. I mean, could it be a Gold Digger reference? Uh, you know, the thing where most, the most stunning 21-year-old loves 99-year-old grandparents. Especially yours. But not because he has half a million in his bank. No, it's always been her dream to fall in love with someone with crusty, flaky, droopy genitalia. 
Or it could just be the fact we're a shark and eating our way through everything. There is that other thought, though. <laughs> so, hmm, I wonder why. So anyway, like I said, as you can see there, on the right-hand side, it basically tells us what we've got to do in order to progress the story. So we're going to need to reach level 4 and then do the three main story missions. Um, some of them, uh, later on levels, will, will be things called revenge, where we just need to eat a bunch of humans and then spit them out because they taste like absolute incest. Um, but a lot of the time, again, <laughs> it'll just be things like this. Kill 10 certain animals basically three times um, so that is what we're going to do we need to just go to the area again just kill every fish that we can on the way there are no enemies that can kill you just yet uh, but they will be oh you know what <laughs> i'm very sorry i took a lie there is an alligator and these are level eight so what it is worth doing is not trying to fight the alligator for now um, because he will he will, literally, he will literally debone you, eat you, and then bone you, which is... Uh, what's that class does? Having sex with dead bodies. We, we're ignoring that. We're ignoring that. But that's what they do, deep down in the ocean. Wieners! See? He literally could eat you in one thing. So, what you need to do is obviously just press the right bumper, so every time you feel like he's getting close, just press the right bumper. If you do go far enough away, um, the alligators will actually just swim back and bugger off. Um, so that is what we can do. <laughs> Sadly, we don't. We're just not big enough to fight back at the minute. Um, I mean, you can try, and I'd be very impressed, and I'll give you a million pounds if you could beat an alligator right now. But for now, all we're doing is just doing some avoidance. Will you piss me off? And. Again, any catfish with the red mark or the uh, exclamation mark on top, just kill them while doing your best to not get eaten. But like I said, just go far enough away and they will eventually, they should eventually just bugger off and leave you alone. Lazy shitbags. Oh, uh, well, they should. Ah, see? Now that is what will happen. So you need to wiggle the right stick as quick as you can. But, like I said, you need to, if you need any more health, you just need to eat fish as quickly as you can, just to get it back up a little bit. It's a bit of a pain in the ass not being able to fight back, but, come on baby, you got this. Now, if the alligator has been pissing you off, as soon as you get this last catfish, you can just quickly swim in the opposite direction with the, wherever the other alligator is. But me, I ended up trying to be a cocky little sugar bag. And uh, I was just still eating fish while the alligators were about. So if you've been sort of having troubles with it, as soon as you kill this last, last catfish, just nip on the other way. Uh, but like I said, we are needing to be getting to level 4, so we need to be eating a lot of fish, or, as I said, um, going around and having a look for some collectibles. Okay, ha has he gone? Is that, is, that, is that my penis? Is, is he gone? Alright, he's gone, but we'll, we'll be coming back to him. So what we're going to do now is go over to the next. Uh, so every, like I said, every time you're on this page, on the right-hand side, you can see what you've got to do, like I said earlier, to progress said story. Oh, man, just really piss off already. Now, you can go on land for a certain amount of time before you start suffocating, so of course, keep that in mind. But again... Uh, just before we get to the next story section, it's definitely worth um, eating as many fish as you can, just getting to level 2. Uh, so you're a bit less puppish and a bit more of a sort of girl queen. This shark is female, by the way. Um, so yeah, until you grow some proper lady balls, um, it's definitely worth it, like I said. We'll get to level two, and then we will... So that's what you're going to see, sort of, for the next couple of minutes. It's just me eat, uh, going around, swimming around, eating some crap, 
and then going to find this story mission musky business but that is what i would do anyway like i said completely up to you if you do want to go and just find some collectibles instead to get your xp up a lot quicker just uh simply go to 27 minutes and 45 seconds now that will be a complete collectibles map um uh, which you can uh, have a look at and go a little bit off there now again if you hear that noise the sort of musky lounge they're just literal wiener fish they think they're hard by attacking you but they're actually just complete wiener fish so you can suck my wiener wiener fish N not literally of course especially if you've got teeth i'm not up for a good time with that uh, but that is what you can do then so uh, th that is basically as well the state of the collectibles in this game uh, we've reached level 2, finally, as well, so now we are going to complete the story mission. But what, I've, what I'll do, again, I'll go into it a little bit more detail a little bit later on, but I've done a complete collectibles map for about 30 seconds, and then I show you how to get all the collectibles if you're needing one. Plus the timestamps in the comments below. Um, so yeah, go there if you'd rather get XP that way. Now here is the next story mission. It is a level 5 hunted mousculange. Now, obviously, I'm probably not saying that right, so I'm sure a fish expert is going to call me complete douchebag and tell me what I'm saying it, what I should be saying it like. But, of course, just like you were with the alligator then, when you're in this, it's worth just getting in a few bites and then just backing out by pressing the right um, bumper. When the big fishes sort of glow, uh, yellow, white, or whatever the hell it is, but as soon as they glow, um, that is your best time to attack them, as it basically... Gets uh, depletes their health a little bit more, so you're able to bite a little bit more and deplete them a little bit. So, happy day. So that is the second um, quest done. Now we're just going to smash all the fish out again, get as much XP as we can right here, before moving on. So then if we open up our map, what you're going to see there are kind of like four targets. Now they are um, collectibles, which we need to do anyway in order to get 100% in each region. And they are called hunts. No, hunts with a H. Just in case you're a bit deaf, deaf there at the back. Um, now they are basically much higher leveled enemies that at the minute we will not be able to do. So we'll be leaving them till last. But all we have to do now is basically get to level 4. Again, as you can see on the right-hand side, that is just our next objective to be able to progress the story. So, what I end up doing, of course, um, is, is definitely the slower way. We just reached level 3. Happy days. But, obviously, definitely the slower way is just to go around eating fish until you get to level 4. Now, the quicker way would be to... Um, get the so-called nutrient caches from the collectibles. Um, by the way, I'm a big boy. I think I could take on an alligator and he almost destroys me. So, still, unless you're that fantastic at video games, which I'm probably not, you know, just leave the alligator alone. But like I said, it's probably worth, um, if you want to get to level 4 quickly, like I said, go to 27 minutes, 45 seconds in this video, and that will come up with the complete collectibles map. Thank you to Redemption41 of True Achievements for allowing me to use his collected maps. Um, and then for the rest, you know, I think it's about 20, 25 minutes or so. Again, a little bit more detail when we get to it, but I will show you each and every one with a timestamp in the description box below. But that is definitely worth doing. Um... Look out for nutrient caches, they give you the most XP. And then as soon as we as soon as we hit level four, well my gosh, we are going to be moving on. We're going to grow our first set of lady bows, and then we're good to go. The man-eater's longevity depends on her nimbleness.
So I did sort of leave it a minute or so there, but obviously this is another thing that can get you a lot of XP as well, is killing the bigger enemies. Um, but to be honest, obviously you can do exactly what you want. You can do what I do, just go around killing all the fish and alligators you can until you get to level 4. Or, like I said, you can just go for the collectibles completely, completely up to you. Um, I would just personally uh, keep going for the collectibles. You will get to level 4 a lot quicker, but here we are, finally made it. And don't be forgetting, of course, to be pressing that B button to get your sonar on. Because many bull sharks have sonar on them in, in the real ocean, of course. <laughs> so, uh, you, we can actually fast travel to our grotto. So, if you just press and hold the X button when you're on what looked like the cave there. We're going to go back to the grotto and we are going to uh, become a teen. So... Uh, We've got a couple of ability upgrades there. Um, obviously, as soon as you get to the uh, level 30, that is where the uh, basically upgrades fantastically. So for now, uh, we don't have anything to upgrade. But what we are going to do now is be getting all the collectibles. So now I can finally go into a little bit more detail about it. As long as you're not sick of my voice. Please don't be sick of my voice. I need you guys. <laughs> by you, Willie. So, again, thank you to Redemption for one of True Achievements for allowing me to use his his uh, complete collectible maps. So, this is the area, Fortic Bayou, and, like I said, it's probably worth doing, um, if you want to just do it yourself, press the pause button here, and obviously just keep going through, have a little check. Now, a lot of the times, in the, especially in the first three areas, we won't be able to grab every collectible as we need to be a certain level, we need to get to a certain rank, um, so that is why you won't be able to actually get all of the 100% in each section just yet, uh, but like I said, it's completely up to you, if you just want to follow exactly as I do on screen, now what I am not, uh, what I'm going to be doing is basically just going to each collectible and showing you where it is, so... Um, I'll show you where the one is, and then I'll edit it, and then go to the next collectible, because obviously it would just take forever and a day in the video if you were going exactly the same places. If I was to show you how I was getting there, etc. Um, there's nothing, there's not really any hard collectibles, or there's nothing that is, is too hard to get to. So, you know, you should be absolutely fine. But what I am showing you is, like I said, basically... Like ju just like a normal collectibles guide now, so get your one and then I'll just show you where the next one is etc etc But of course always be remembered to press the B button getting your sonar out press the Y button to get your shark balls out. No wrong one. Sorry. Sorry. That was something I seen on Pornhub once uh, no. um, And of course remembering to eat be eating as many many fish as we can on the way as well That'll all always help with our XP so this is our first collectible of the game then, this is a landmark, these are again generally very very easy to find, they are literally just in the ocean floor and this is exactly what I mean. So I'll, I'll do one and then I will cut to the next one, show you exactly where it is on the map and then, well, collect it. <laughs> so as you can see there, nutrient caches it give us a lot of XP. So I'm going to get... Like I said, it's action, it's open world, you can do what you want. Honestly, if you want to do, go and do the next story mission, that's fine. But it's definitely worth just getting all the collectibles, or as, as most as you can, and then moving on. So, obviously, I won't be speaking much through the um, collectible section, because there's not a lot of point. You know, I've, I've basically explained it. I hope you guys have got it. I hope I explained it well, and not really stupidly. Uh, but that is this is just exactly what I'll be doing. So hopefully you guys can follow along pause the video where you need to pause the video and Like I said, I'll only be back uh, during the collectible section when there's a couple of hard ones or something to explain But generally a lot of these landmarks and these uh, nutrient caches are just just chilling on the hidden floor Who's putting these many nutrient caches and stuff? It's, be it's baffling Somebody just going around all the all the rivers and dropping crates and stuff. Nah. Go ahead, sharks. You eat them. You eat them, bras. If a group of consenting adults wants to perform cryptic rites to shadow forth the prophecy of the great...
sharks have a habit. Gobble. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion Remember, if you find yourself hard aground, the best thing to do is stay with your canoe. Hunger is a dry. Now, we are actually coming up to one of the hunts, but luckily for us, this hunt is uh he's, he's only level five yeah see what it did there yeah um so the level five hunted mosque uh yeah you can kick his ass go on kick it otherwise it's still all nice and easy cheesy I used to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone disrupting chemicals and palm oil. So here is the unfortunate first part that we get stuck on. We actually need to be an adult to eat these grapes. I don't know why, like literally you could surely, you can do it as a teen, but it'll just be a bit longer to bite through your, your way through it, but apparently not. Uh, so we'll have to come back to that a little bit later. We get to be an adult at around level 10. So, you know, Sadly, we're gonna have to wait, which is fine, just fine. Fan, just fan. That's fan. Fan. So, what we can do for now then is we go back to the cave, we go back to the grotto, and just go up the other side. Now, I tried to make this collectible guide um, as sort of close as possible, where we sort of get what the closest collectible and just sort of go through a path through there rather than just do the first 10 nutrient caches or the first 10 landmarks etc so I try to do it that way so I do hope that uh, <laughs> this sort of half half story mode half collectible guide does actually help and if it doesn't then please feel free to call me an, a complete asshole that's also a fan <laughs> but for now like I said we'll just keep on cracking on smashing out the collectibles smashing up the levels and generally loving life and enjoying the narration as well that was definitely a fantastic part of this game a clock would hardly be the strangest thing ever retrieved from a crocodile's mouth Shark is never one to pass it. The bull shark demonstrates. So, a lot of the time, we will be having to stick our nose straight through a gate. Um, but of course, always remember that there are going to be a whole 
bunch of fish on the other side, but there will always be a couple of big enemies as well. So you might bump into a couple of alligators, you might bump into a couple of level 5 fish. So always be wary. Do not poopy knickers. And generally, still just have a good time. And remember to just eat eat the crap out of that, absolutely everything. And that is why the edit was just in there. Because it took me too long to kill an enemy that actually killed me first. But we're not getting into that because I edited it out. So it, it, I look super cool. Um, otherwise, <laughs> just again, just, just be wary when you're sticking your head through a grate. There's always something that wants to kill you. Not very good... Uh, not a very good life lesson there, I'll be honest to you. Oh, but we are coming up to another hunt. The hunted musky lounge, where we are now. Uh, which is <laughs> directly by this nutrient cache. So, again, be aware of sneaky little wiener fish. They can go right up your butt, and it's very slippery. And it's just not a nice feeling. I assume, of course. Ugh. Someone should have taken a gun safety class. In spite of their reputations as wrestlers, alligators haven't mastered the nuances of scientific holds like the figure four. A critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodin of the Bayou, but Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodin was. The sea. While adorable, these soft stuff mascots don't provide much in the way of nutritional value. Alrighty then, so for the time being, we've got as much as we can for now. We're obviously not going to be going after the other hunts. Uh, with, I think they're both level 15 alligators, so we've got every collectible that we can for the moment. Uh, so we're just going to head back to the grotto. When another little baby shark is born, and another cold December man in the grotto. In the grand team. Um, <laughs> so this is where we can again get used to the upgrade menu. Uh, so for the time being, we haven't got really anything that is worth um, getting <laughs> jizzing your pants over. Really, mm, we've still we've got the advanced sonar for now. So literally, we're still fine for now. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be following the question mark. Now I don't actually edit this out. Just again, just so you know where, where we're going. The only thing I, I've really edited out is basically just the collectible guides. Um, and that's about it, really. So, you know, we're going to take another little swim and moan in the ghetto. Stop singing in the ghetto. Or well, the grotto, even. Ah, hear that noise, see? Stupid musculanges think they're all hardcore with their big roar. And they ain't nothing. They ain't nothing but shit. Uh, so, yeah, this is literally just, again, keep on doing what you're doing. By now, you should be on level 6, or if not, you should be very close to level 6. Definitely should be there if you've got the, all the collectibles and been eating all the fish as we go from quest to quest. Um, but, so, yeah, just, just follow me. Follow me. Follow the leader, leader, leader. And, this is where, and that is where we are going to be going through to the next section. 
quite a variety of revolting and unmentionable things. Okay then, girly teen girl, you have made it. We are heading through. We're getting out of Fortic Bayou. I'm leaving this dumb forever. Until we gotta come back to get the rest of the collectibles and the rest of the story missions. But until then, I'm leaving this place forever. So, we bunch, we smash our way through. We might as well get, oh, apparently we get uh, ass handed to us by a gate. Hey, come back here, little wiener fish. God damn it, get out of my butt and get in my mouth. Really, I do apologize if um, anyone is listening to that particular point and just took that comment completely out of context. It's not what you think, honest. It's just a shark game. Thank you very much. So, we are now into Dead Horse Lake. The water... The, oh, the water... The water... Almost said that again. The water doesn't get any clearer. We're still in musky, aid-infested ocean water. But, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. So, yeah, just take a little look around. There are a couple of collectibles about here, if you so desire. Uh, but like I said, for now, we just get to every grotto. We get to uh, complete every story mission, which does include what is called um, the apexes, which are basically the bosses of that particular area. Uh, generally, not too hard at all. As long as you're dodging enough and being an all-round badass, you should have no problems with it. So, just go straight ahead. Until we get to the grotto. Oh, that's just going to be a running joke now, I'm sorry. But uh, in every new area as well, you will see uh, completely new enemies that want to try and kill you, even though they, you, we are much bigger than them. Uh, the Barracuda is the sort of main enemy of this particular area, Dead Horse Lake. Again, we are bigger than them, but they have got some actual testes to want to keep fighting us. Uh, the results always end up the same, but still, you can't... <laughs> when a man or a woman is that committed, you've got to give them the props. So, well done for dying <laughs> and being eaten by me. So, to get over to the next bit, just jump over here. There is literally... That is the only gap in the fence that we can get through to jump over. And... Nom, nom, nom. I am fat. Now, if any of us set like that in real life... We would be about 28 stone, and we would be considered slightly, slightly overweight. Which I'd have no problem with, to be honest, because food is damn good. So, we've just reached level 7, so again, you can be roughly about level 7. You might be a little bit less by now, that's literally fine. You should always be roughly about the same stuff that I'm on, providing you following the video, and getting all the collectibles in each region, etc., um, but we're just killing all the barracudas. By the way, other fish can dodge as well. Who knew? Enemies could dodge in a game. That's mad. Uh, you wouldn't tell on some of, <laughs> some of the games. Uh, mainly, you know, the Call of Duty games and stuff. They sort of just hide behind... They either hide behind stuff or just walk directly in front of you. Anyway, we have found our grotto now. So now we've got a few quests to do. And let's just take a look at those. Now, you know I would never tell you what to do, so you can do whatever you want. But, if you want me to tell you what to do, follow where I go. And we will have a fantastic time. Oh, are we feeling brave enough now to get our big old lady balls out? 
Yeah, apparently so. Now we can grow our genitalias and fight. Or, like I said, in this case, the lady balls. I mean, what is it you ladies actually say? Obviously, men say, I've got the balls to do that. Do you women say, I've got the walls to do that? Walls and balls? Wows and bows? Or do you just say, I've got my par partner's balls in a jar and use them wherever I need? <laughs> yeah, could be. Could be that last one. <laughs> anyway, like I said, um... Obviously, always worth, if, if you, any enemies that want to try and attack and kill you, alligators, barracudas and whatever, just, you don't obviously have to, but it's always worth doing just for that extra bit of XP you get, um, rather than just killing the little wiener catfishes and stuff. So, always worth doing, just destroy them on your way, it's, it generally is easy enough. Unless you die and you can't get past a certain section, then, sorry. <laughs> And like I said, with most games, it's a case of if you can't find them, they're usually hiding in a grate or somewhere or other. So this is where we're going. First, we're going to head down through here. No, of course, like I said, behind every grate, there is going to be a whole bunch of hard enemies for us to kill. Uh, so we've got a couple of groupers here that generally we uh, can be absolutely fine with. But of course there are, an, there is an alligator, I think there's two alligators actually in here as well. Uh, the groupers will also, the, or the fish or the enemies, whatever, will always try and run away. But of course you don't want to do that. So there they are then. We've got two alligators, which, to be honest, up your guts, guys. Up your goddamn guts. Uh, so, like I said, you, you can fight them if you want. It's a bit of an enclosed space. You can fight them if you want, or if it's just easier. For now, just complete the story quest, fight them after, or whatever. Completely up to you, but I end up just uh, doing the story mode first. Uh, so I'll be able to kill all the groupers. And then basically run away, because I am a coward. And there's nothing wrong with that. It makes you more of a man slash woman man. You know? So next we're going to go way up the junction, up my boys, up the junction, come on. Um, but this is basically just, it's a very easy story quest, I wonder what you have to do. Oh, kill ten groupers. How original for our second quest of the area. <laughs> but again, just be aware, every time we get a mission like this, there is always one or two big enemies, i.e. the barracudas. Or alligators so again you can kill them first it's completely up to you if you want to get that extra little bit of XP but generally I just tend to go for what we need and get the fur jarn out of there so you go and kill the groupers and we will come right back right after this ad
And that's about that then, so we are good to go. And then, ah, god damn it, butthole. Would you piss off, please? Thank you. Jeez. God. You just uh, gave me a goddamn poop attack there. So anyway, the alligators now will not swim after us anymore, which is good for us. Um, but we will be, we've got three more quests, side quests that we need to be doing. Um, so this is basically the just the general theme of the game. So every new area we're going to, but obviously you can't fast travel in combat, by the way, which is why we didn't go there first. Um, but this, like I said, is the general theme. Go to a new area, get to Santa's Grotto, or Shark Santa's Grotto. Baby shark, do 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 do. Hope that's stuck in your head now. Um, <laughs> and then just do the quest. Have a look at Pe Scaly Pete. And then that's pretty much it. So, we're doing a hunt next. Which is called What a Dump. And I can honestly say that nobody has ever said What a Dump to me. Which, I mean, I try. Of course, dump in British terms refers to poop. Big poop, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, that fell flat on its ass, so let's just go and kill our dumping target. Hmm. <laughs> Again, obviously, always be sure to be pressing the B button, killing fish on the way there, getting your XP and getting the collectibles map uh, as full as you can to make it a little bit easier for you. But of course, I've got it for you as well, because I love you. In fact, actually, we're not going to be going for the story mode for the minute. What we're going to be doing is starting the Infamy. So, as I said earlier, it's like the Wanted Stars out of Grand Theft Auto. Uh, so, basically, the as you can see, the more humans we're eating, the threat level rises. And as soon as that threat goes all the way right, um, we see a sign called attacking. And then the boats from the very first tutorial mission start attacking us again. Um... And then you do you destroy a couple of boats, eat a couple more of the divers slash humans, and that is where the uh, boss, if you want to call it, there's sort of there's ten infamy levels, and every time you get to that level, we get one of the so-called bosses attacking us. So and it's definitely worth doing because it, you will get basically an upgrade. Um, so, I think with this first one, I think it's like bioelectric fins, something like that. I don't use them. Um, I didn't personally think they were that good, but of course that's completely up to you. So, as we can see now, we are now being attacked. So, we are now going to have to... Well, you want to attack me, bro? We are going to attack you. I am one woman, shark woman, and I don't need no man to kill <laughs> to kill you guys. So, that's what you got to do. So, for the time being, of course, until we get better armor, etc. later on... We're going to be jumping up, and we're going to be uh, eating these humans. It does get a little bit grindier for the later levels, just to let you know now. But again, we'll come back to that when we get there. Cross the bridge when we get to it. Um, if you could not shoot me as well, that'd be bloody fantastic. But since you got to, I suppose it really wouldn't be a game then, would it? So, come on, come on. It can... You can probably do it way better than me, but for some reason, this first part, anyway, I kept struggling on just jumping where the boat is. Oh! <laughs> Bayou Willy. Bayou Willy? Urge of the Swampland. Bayou Willy. Hmm. Bayou Willy? Buy me, Willy? No thanks. I'm good. I've already got one. Um, so all you need to do is jump up <laughs> and just kill him. Job done. In fact, you know what, I thought I had two willies once, but it turned out that it was just a Watsit slash Cheeto, if you're American. Either way, it did taste kind of cheesy. <laughs> is that a badum moment? Badum Or is that just a full flat in its ass again moment? Probably the second one, 
Well, there we go. So, we've got Infamy Level 1 now. We've got a little upgrade that we can use. Again, completely up to you if you want to use it. It's worth doing. I just didn't find that it helped that much. Um... So, yeah, yeah, like I said, you can either just keep going for now until you get to level 2. Um, but because we because we are still just a teen and we don't have that much armor, um, it does get, quite progressively, a little bit more difficult. Um, but, of course, you can just keep going. <laughs> and is that not the most stereotypical American buffet-eating, potential incestuous blue waffled no showering because the rain will clean you type design of a character that you've ever seen well she's got a good job though I guess well she did until we had her away with her um, eating her whole oh, not eating her out oh, jeebus <laughs> oh man so anyway it's exactly the same as we did with uh, buy you penis Willie. jump up destroy her kill her so now we have a new evolution hearty now this definitely comes in handy and it will show you why on the upgrades but basically um, we can stay on the boats when we jump on the boats we can actually stay on a little bit longer so it gives us more time to basically eat the hunters and obviously the more you upgrade the more time you get to spend on the boat etc and you're a little less slimy so it all comes in handy definitely does come in handy but we are actually getting to Infamy level 3 as well. Now again, this is something you don't have to do. But we've got to get to Infamy level 10 anyway. So, you know, we might as well get um, as much upgrades and uh, the, the evolution is what they're called. Uh, Pookie Paul, he's a bit less uh, incestuous looking, this guy. Sort of. But he does look like he would bone his own sister for a beer. Anyway, that's <laughs> probably not a thing. Maybe. Again, that's all we're doing. As soon as he appears, we're just going to eat him, kill him. Then we should have uh, Infamy Level 3, which gives us another new upgrade slash evolution is what they're called. And it does start getting progressively more difficult at the minute because we don't have the upgrades, the armor, etc. So if you try going to Level 4 like I did, well, I got sad news for you, chum. We are chum. Plankton's chum. You know the disgusting one that you need your stomach pumped? With that chum. But every time you die, we respawn. Realistically, you shouldn't die that many times during the game. Um, it is quite an easy game, but, you know, who am I to judge? People are better at some than others. And a lot of people are better than me at games, I can tell you that much for one. <laughs> so, here we go then. We've managed to get ourselves to level 8. We've got a couple of... Um, upgrades that we can use now I do actually use the bioelectric teeth sorry I did say that it was useless earlier on but it's actually pretty good um, you can upgrade them as well but the main teeth that we're going to be using in the game are called shadow teeth and we're going to upgrade that full and we get that for collecting all of the landmarks in dead horse lake so we do get it very early as well um, but for now like I said just pop yourself up I would definitely go with the hearty um, I, I do a little bit later on as well. The hearty um, upgrade right there. Plus the bioelectric teeth. Because, you know, you just sort of get through enemies just a little touch quicker. But, you know, you do you. If you found a combination that works perfectly for you, then by all means, you go get it. And you smash it. And mm. So let's try out our new bioelectric teeth on this alligator right here. Uh, health does deplete a little bit quicker, but like I said, as soon as you collect all of the landmarks here, the shadow teeth are gonna... Oh, well, I will tell you why they are completely overpowered, but helps us big time in the game. So for now, what we're actually going to be doing is going to the water dump quest. So let's head there now, shall we?
So here we go. This um, hunt is not very difficult at all. I do believe that it is just another level five musculange or a level five barracuda. Oh, hello, there you are. Hello, hello. So again, the best thing to do, take a couple of bites. Oh, it's a level eight, sorry, level eight. Take a couple of bites. And then if he knobs off, then just do a quick dodge. You can do a tail whip, but I don't really tail whip throughout the game, to be honest. Only until a little bit later on, but that should be easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. How does your garden grow? So, next up then, we are going to be killing some humans again. So, it's either 10 groupers we've got to kill, or 10 humans. So, we're going to Jolton Joes. Jolton Joes, y'all. Did, did I do a good American accent? <laughs> nah, probably not. Anyway, that is just where we are heading. So, again, you do keep pressing B, keep eating fish, until we get to the next quest. So, hello everyone, I am here to kill you and destroy your lives. Um, my name is Shaggy McSharknet, and also be aware that obviously the more humans that you eat, the more the boats are going to be coming after you as well, as you can see by the threat, slash searching, slash attacking in the right hand corner there. But again, what I would do, personally what I have just done, I've just focused on the story mission at hand, do the quest. And then if you want to attack the boats later on, you can, or you can actually just go deep enough into the sea and run away until they stop searching for you. But if you can, for the time being, just focus solely on getting the quest out of the way so that it is done and you don't accidentally die and have to come back and do it again. But it's the only plague to get a decent sensor egg that don't have me on there. Do not serve me. Now again, I actually try to get to level 4 and I get my <laughs> girl nuts um, handed to me on a plate. So, well, worth a shot, wasn't it? But basically what we are going to be doing, if you did actually manage to run away and you didn't get killed, very sillily like I just did, um, we're basically just going for the next quest mission as it will show you here. Um, there it is, just on the left hand side. And it's always worth, like I said, every time you come back to the grotto, in the grotto. Um, it's obviously, no, uh, definitely worth checking what upgrades you can use. Now, what I would do is definitely get your advanced sonar up to tier 5. Now, that uh, will definitely come in handy incredibly much later on. Um, you can upgrade the rest if you want, um, but at the minute it's not really that necessary. But we will be getting a lot of XP in order to upgrade quite a bit later on anyway but again what I would do I would save them for now until we get our shadow teeth and we start getting our bone armor those two things make this game an absolute easier breeze uh, so you've just seen where I put it on the map basically these groupers are once again hiding in a grate because they are kind of cowardly fish am I right at least barracudas have got the bowels to try and fight me not that it goes well for them, but, you know, it's worth a shot. Excuse me, one at a time, you can die one at a time, Jesus Christ. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'll tell you why there was just an edit there. I still, even though I'd marked it down on the map, I still managed to go the complete wrong way. Um, I went all the way to the left side of the map, and basically they're not there. They are right here, right next to this hunted alligator. So this is where we need to be actually going on the map, not where I originally put it, so apologies about that. Um, it is right next to this hunted alligator. So again, you can fight him if you want, if you're feeling brave enough. If you've got the absolute boner for it, then you can fight him. If not, what I would do is just quickly slam through the grate and get on through. But of course, there is always the risk that he will follow you. So just be aware there. Of course, keep dodging. And as soon as the hunted alligator gr uh, glows a little bit, that is your time, your even better time to strike. Let's just get, let's just get him out the way, is it? Eh, let's get him out the way. There we go then, so thanks very much, thanks very much. We have just killed our first hunt, which means we've only got three left to do. There's usually four hunts in every single area, um, and we have to do them to get to the 100% region completion. So, again, what we need to do then, as soon as we kill the alligator or not, we can actually just uh, nip through. Uh, some of these can look very potentially confusing. Now, there is a license plate there. Again, you are more than welcome. Any collectibles that you find on your way, you know, you, again, you do you. So if you prefer to just collect collectibles on the way and then just mop up everything else after, you are more than welcome to do that. But like I said, I'm doing the separate collectibles guide uh, later on. So that is why I don't collect anything for the time being. Now we've got another two alligators up my ass. Why? You just... You know, you you think you're hard in a gang. Goddamn pieces. Um, so, yeah. Again, it is definitely worth just killing these alligators here because they're just going to try and eat you anyway. So, might as well kick their ass. I've said ass and genitalia a lot in this video so far. Apologies <laughs> if you don't like ass or genitalia. Hmm. Luckily then we had a nice easy time to killing those uh, grouper dynamics, <laughs> those groupers even, and that is purely for killing the alligator. So as you can see it's a bit more, you know, killing those alligators, a bit of a harder, tighter space there. But now when we do all that now, we can actually go ahead and kill the apex of the area, which is basically the boss, uh, boss, bigger boss of the area. Um, again, it did not... I, very much not overly difficult at all. There he is on the right hand side. So we're going to be needing to fast travel again. Again, very much not that difficult at all. But they are a little bit faster. Their health, they've got a little bit more health. Uh, but as long as you're dodging, biting, attacking. And generally, once again, just doing exactly what I said there. <laughs> dodging and biting. It should be okay. You should be good to go. 
Um, so, well, let's do it. And we'll also get achievements for killing every single Apex, separate achievements for killing every Apex, and then one for killing all of the Apexes when we do that later on in part three of the video. So for now we're going to take a nice little swim, you know, get yourself mentally prepared, click your neck a few times, spank your own butt. D does that get you in the mood? I, I don't know. It certainly helps when I squat. Um, sorry, wrong thing again. <laughs> but no, you, you should honestly genuinely be absolutely fine. Get yourself some bioelectric teeth. If you fancy upgrading them as well, like I said, we generally get enough XP throughout the remainder of the game where we can get a lot... We can get the tier 5 bone armor and the, the tier 5 shadow teeth as well. But if you're confident enough, we can do this as a level 19. Uh, I mean, a teen at level 9, that's what I meant there. So here we go then, the Apex Barracuda. Douchebag number 1. Now, just be aware that other enemies still will attack you. Sorry, he's level 10. Other enemies still will attack you. And there's also a guy on a boat, or some hunters on a boat, that will still try and attack you as well. So, just be very wary of those. Uh, the Barracuda is very fast, very annoying, but, sh again, shouldn't be overly difficult. If you do need some more health, just run around and just eat as much fish as you can. Otherwise, sort of wait until he glows. That is the best time to strike, is when the Barracuda gets stuck or is glowing as that will take off more of his health. But I'm gonna shut up and let you concentrate. Thanks, B! Go down, we got him. So we've got our first set of again bone armor. We've got bone teeth, but the shadow teeth are the ones that we're going to be needing. The bone armor, we've got bed body, uh, bone body, bone head, etc. etc. They are the ones that we're going to be needing a little bit later on. We get them for destroying the apexes. Um, now, if you are struggling with that barracuda, of course, it's definitely worth um, just grabbing a lot of the collectibles. Um, just so you can get a little bit more of a um, level, a little bit more health for turning into an adult as well. But you can do it as a teen on level 9, as I just showed you. But again, if you are struggling, grab some collectibles, get some more XP until you're level 10, 11, etc. And come back. But generally, you should be absolutely fine with it. It's just a lot of dodging is all. So, now that we have basically done all the Apex stuff... Um, we will start looking at the collectibles now in Dead Horse Lake. Now, just like Fortic Bayou, we won't be able to get, or Bayou, whatever it is, 
Uh, we won't actually be able to get all of the collectibles in this one as we still we then need to be an elder, which we get on like level twenty, level twenty actually I think level twenty or level twenty one. Um, we can do this hunt for now because these guys were hunting us during the apex battle. So, wow, you guys can just suck a nut bag, which you probably do on your brothers or sisters. Um, so, yeah, just kill these guys. It basically just gets rid of the second hunt for us, which, you know, gives us one less thing to do, I suppose, doesn't it? Um, but, yeah, like I said, we are going to... What, what I'm going to do now, we're going to go back to our grotto in the grotto. We're going to have a look at any upgrades. Again, any upgrades that you particularly want to, to use or do. And then what I'm going to do is put up the full all collected collectibles map again. Thank you to Redemption 4.1 from True Achievements for letting me have that, uh, have all of these. Um, so again, up to you. If you want to just pause the video and just go off the all collectible collected collect all collected collectibles map, that is obviously fine. Or if you just want to go through the video, same as me, you're more than welcome to do that as well. I put both options in just in case you wanted to do one or the other. Um, so, bioelectric or bone teeth, um, pff, literally you can pick what you want for now. As I said, we'll be going for the shadow teeth, because shadow sounds cooler. And also, it is incredibly overpowered, which helps us big time through the game. Uh, but get any upgrades that you want for now. Here is the all collectible collectible map, or all collected collectible map. So like I said, you can pause the video, have a look at this if you prefer to do it this way, or just follow the rest of the video. And again, I won't be commenting. I'll give you guys a little break from my the deliciousness that is at my obvious voice. Um, but I'll only sort of come back um, if there's any sort of complicated ones or anything like that. spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mask
Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. So I hope you uh, didn't find that co those collectibles too confusing through the pipes there. Um, but what we are going to have to do for now is just leave these collectibles. We still need to be be an adult and we're not quite there yet so we're going to come back to those a little bit later on again if you are an adult and you it's basically just through one pipe uh, i'm pretty certain so if you are already on level 10 already an adult uh, then obviously be my guest go for it um, get those extra collectibles for now but for me personally we're going to have to leave them for now which is fine it's only those couple left in that uh, remaining area so for now we're just going to the left side of the map and getting everything that way. Like I said, the landmarks and the nutrient caches, you will usually get all unless they're behind a grate, which you can't get past. But it's the license plates, which are a pain in the snatch bog, whatever the hell a snatch bog is, um, as a lot of them will be incredibly high up that we can't actually reach yet. So that is why I'm not grabbing the license plates just yet. Is hurt. At this point, it may look to eat someone who's taken a lot of pills.
fed by lusty appetites. The sharp. Shark versus dolphin, orca versus giant squid, boat versus pylon. When establishing do- Threats to our ocean seem overwhelming, but by working together now, we can ensure that future generations always have a Way! We're gonna reach level 10 right now, so finally we have reached the uh, levelist of Tenonist. Now, what I probably should have done was just keep going with the collectibles, but I actually go back to the grotto. The grotto. I will stop that one day. I don't know when, but uh, yes. So basically, I only go back now actually because there are a couple of grates just up on the sort of left hand corner there, which we need to be an adult to get through. So that is why we're going to go back. We're going to become an adult. Oh yeah, look at that adult body. That's a lot better. Feels so womanly right now. I mean, womanly right now. I just assume that's what all females sound like for some reason. Apologies, apologies. Um, but we get an achievement for becoming an adult anyway. Um, so again, like I said, you can upgrade what you want. Obviously, the choice is completely up to you. But as I said, to make this game a complete breeze, we're going for shadow teeth. And we are going for all bone armor body. So that is what we are doing there. Um, but what we can do, basically, as soon as you get to a certain percentage in every area, then we are able to, if you can just see it on the left by the nutrient cache on the hunt, um, we can get to uh, do the Scaly Pete cutscene. But now what I'm doing is going back to Fortic Bayou, and I'm actually going to be grabbing the rest of the collectibles, which is in the top left-hand corner there. And plus some of the license plates, which we couldn't reach earlier because apparently teens can't jump as high as adults. Maybe that's just a thing, I do not know. So sometimes it is a bit of a pain, you've got to get the angle sometimes quite right. And now what I wouldn't do is just mash the A button or mash the left trigger. Do it once, leave it a second, do it again, and then that gives you a sort of, uh, the, like this sort of glide in motion, really, if you will. Uh, but yeah, so we come to, back to Fortic Bayou, get the sort of rest of the collectibles as much as we can. We're going up to 92%, uh, because we, there are still three um, main quests that we need to do, which we can't get until later on. Um, and then we will go back to uh, Dead Horse Lake and grab the rest of the collectibles there. So, like I said, I'm just doing it this way just to get everything sort of out of the way. You don't have to do that. You can just come back later on if you'd prefer.
Mutagen 23 is certainly he Supercharged with G. Bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Now this license plate can be quite tricky, but basically what we need to do is just be right underneath where it is, jump up a couple of times, and then as soon as we hit the right trigger, it basically just jumps us forward a little bit again, but we can actually just land on it. That is just the best way to do that license plate, rather than trying to go from the sides. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now we're actually going to go to the hunt that kept hunting me up earlier. Um, kept <laughs> kept mucking me up was the level 15 hunted alligator, which you may have come across a few times when we were at the beginning of the game when we were just a little pupper. And uh, this guy would have destroyed us first, but now we have, like I said, the lady walls and balls. So we can now kill this guy. Obviously, still be very careful. He's still quite a powerful alligator. Um, but this is the one that should get us over to 92% and almost hit us. Get us. So there we go then, now we've basically got all of the collectibles done in Fortic Bayou. Um, but like I said, until we get to the third area, Golden Shores, do a couple of side quests there. That is when the rest of the quests will appear in Fortic Bayou. So we can't actually complete that until then. So we're just going to be getting the rest of the collectibles now in Dead Horse Lake. Now, personally, like this game was fantastic. And we're going to be going back down to the greats now. So again, apologies if this is a little bit all over the place to you. Um, I sort of tried to do it in the best route that I could uh, but it does get a lot smoother um, as soon as we hit elder status a little bit later on so don't panic it gets less confusing um, but to be honest this game was absolutely fantastic sadly the the one thing that let it down was the sort of grind for collectibles I just thought it was just a little bit too much took away the the grind did take away the fun from the game and that is literally my only complaint of the game Unless, of course, you like the grindings of collectibles, then hey, this is fantastic. This is the game for you. A driving force. So once we've got everything from here, from what we can for now, we actually need to be an elder. So we still need to come back a little bit later on, but we're going to go back to the cave. And basically we are heading now towards the top left of the map. And this is what does get a bit annoying. We sort of get to a point and then it's, you need to be an elder or you need to be a bigger level. It's annoying, but th that is where we're heading next then.
I would like to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit. Traveling around, we are constantly... This protein supplement has Handyman special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views. Open the event with thin. The bull shark demon. of 73 was a magical time in Port Clovis when local favorite Trash Talk placed 20th in the Derby and the city placed first in the country for petty... As with many social movements, the annual Driftwood Man Festival purports to foster progressive change, but it's really just an... The sea wolf remains acutely aware of... So this then is the final landmark until we get our most overpowered possession. Man Ray! The Ray Gun! The Disintegrator Ray. Or just the actual Shadow Teeth, which comes in just complete handy and you will see why, especially when we upgrade it to Tier 5 as well. But, happy days. I genuinely love the fact that we can get this... Um, incredibly overpowered item 
or incredibly powered upgrade so early on in the game. So, uh, still a couple of collectibles left to get, but trust me, when we get back to the grotto, we are going to be wanting to use and upgrade Shadow Teeth as much as possible, and I will tell you what it does in just a momo. Mo. Mo. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. Okay then, so we got all of the collectibles except what looks like shark fins there. They, they are basically called revenges. Like I said earlier, that is just for killing um, as many humans as you can. It's like 10, 8, 10, 15, but they also contribute... Just like the hunts, they also contribute to 100%ing the region, so we will need to be doing them, but I thought we didn't need to at this point, which is stupid of me. But like I said, every time you progress enough um, percentage story in an area, um, grab enough collectibles, do all the quests, always a little cutscene will appear. Again, I skip all the cutscenes, but it's definitely worth watching it because Scaly Pete has such a man voice. That's Cal. That's that's my name. He's named like my name. He studies marine biology. <laughs> Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place. So, very happily then, we are done with the second area. Hopefully the water gets a, a little less AIDS infected as it is right now. Green and pollutionated. Hmm, it may be delicious to you, but it is not to me. But we are off next to the beautiful Golden Shores, or sounds beautiful Golden Shores. And for some reason, the areas... They seem to get a little smaller. The first two areas seem to be the biggest for some reason, apart from the very end one, which of course is, always happens in video games. But that is where we're heading next, so you can either race me if you want and we'll see who gets there first. And if you do beat me, then I will give you one million virtual Bitcoin. No, I won't. Um, but still, that we're just heading off to Golden Shores. So again, each your way through life. We would have done all the collectibles or as many as we could grab for the time being anyway. So head to the shores, baby. Look at it. Look at it build it in the background. It looks so good. Catfish have specialized taste buds all over their bodies, so they know that your Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out of town. And again, we're obviously going to be seeing um, new enemies, this time in the shape of the Mako Shark. Now, they seem to be quite intimidating and a little bit, you know, oof, but they're, they're literally just no different to the Barracuda that we've been fighting with. There's one, let's fight him and see how we go. So they look like they can kick your ass, really, but they're basically just the same as the alligator, so they try and charge you, they try and bite you, but what? again, like I said, what you're doing, as soon as you know when they're going to charge up, dodge, and then when they glow in, just try and eat as much as you can. This time, because we're a bigger level as well, we can thrash them, and obviously that's just wiggling the right stick back and forth, or to the left and right, which gets off a lot of their health, which comes in another bit of mega handy. Is what you need for killing things, obviously. A stalking shark is a mysterious ballet governed by unknowable agencies.
Only here can the shark discover the miracle. So again, we have made it to the new grotto. Uh, like I said, any collectibles, once again, I'll, I'll keep saying it because, you know, just in case you'll forget, like I haven't mentioned it a thousand times. But any collectibles that you do see on your way, of course, definitely worth just picking them up. Just for always that bit of extra XP. Uh -huh, excuse me there, I got a little something in my throat. So, now, what we can do is finally get our shadow teeth on the go, and we're going to be upgrading that as much as we can. So, these are the teeth we're sticking with. They look nice and deadly. Nice and sharp. Which is exactly what you need for eating things. And basically, what the upgraded shadow teeth do is they give you additional health every time you land a bite. And you can also bite things a lot faster than the enemy can actually dish out damage. So after you upgrade your sonar to level 5, this is definitely worth upgrading. So basically, it's it's practically impossible to die. You still can die, but it becomes a lot more impossible to die when you upgrade your shadow teeth to level 5. You get health every time you land a bite, and you can bite faster than they can give you damage. So it's a win-win, baby! <laughs> Ah, that was fun. Potentially childish, but very fun. Right, so, like I said, we you should basically know what you're doing by now. It's the same sort of thing every time, so we need to be... Uh, a couple of quests are going to appear. We're going to be killing a certain group of fishes. Where, of course, there's also going to be um, what is obviously now in this uh, region. The Mako Shark, which will be our main enemy for this particular region. And also the waters do look a lot less aid infected and a lot pol less pollutionist. So everything's a win-win. Am I red? So this is no different to what we were doing with the catfish and the groupers. Of course, there is a Mako around. He was just behind my butt. So, again, because we are now a bigger level as well, you can literally just kill the Mako. It'll definitely be worth killing the Mako first. And then um, you'll have a, a, a lot more of a chill time doing what you've actually got to be doing here. Um, but it's what I... Again, you can do that. You can kill the Mako first, or you can just go and kill the Mackerel, and then uh, kill the Mako after. Either way, kill him for some good extra XP, and to put some hair on your chesty balls. It's a kingfish in the mood, quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double bogey. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground. Alrighty then, now don't we feel like a big woman killing those poor defenseless Mako sharks. But hey, that is the way of nature. And nature's scary as hell, man. So we need to be doing exactly the same thing we just did, just in another location. Um, <coughs> excuse me again, god damn I got stuff in my throat today. Not that stuff, whatever you're thinking about. I'm ill-ish. So again, like I said, this one can potentially be a little bit confusing. We actually have to jump on one of the golf courses and land in the little lake. But I will show you exactly where it is on the map. Right coming up in a little while. So here it actually is then. It's by the license plate. What kind of looks like a hilariously spooky face. But that is the lake, or the sort of little pond, whatever the hell you want to call it. That is where we need to go. Um, oh God, God damn it, Mick. I'm just trying to get through. I'm trying to get through the day, okay? I've had a stressful day. I don't need you trying to bite me on the balls all the time. God damn it. Oh, the, the lady wows all the time. God damn it. Will you fudge off? 
But anyway, like I said, so by the license plate, that is where we are. We need to actually go through the grate here. And that is where our little mackerel friends are going to be. Of course, once again, be aware of the enemies that will try to attack you, try to kill you, but you are too strong for that. Tidy boss. So that is that one complete. That's all the enemies little uh, killed in this area. Thank you for that. So we're going to be going to the next quest now, which is uh, literally just a little bit up from where we are. Uh, you fin some, you lose some, which is very aptly and hilariously named. Um, or you can just go to the other one, which is, I believe, called... I don't know. I forget. By the way, uh, any fights like this that I do have, I am leaving in as all you kids need to see the effects of nature. Everyone in class tells you it's all rainbows and sunshine in nature. No, this is the this is the real deal. Animals attack each other and kill each other, and no animals can go vegan, otherwise they die. <laughs> it's just how it goes, okay? So, what we're going to be doing then, uh, we are going to be upgrading as many times as we can... Uh, the shadow teeth again you could just wait until later you can just crack on with the quests if you prefer or if you're following the video definitely worth upgrading the shadow teeth as soon as we can okay so the child the childish stuff is uh, I'm done with that again so like I said we are do it going for the fin some lose some quest now or the uh oh better get Mako, literally whatever you prefer. We're just gonna go for this one for now because why the hell not? It's slightly closer. This one isn't too bad again. All we're doing is this little island. We need to just be killing 10 humans. So, you know, you should really know how to kill humans by now. You can tail whip them into the sea if you want. Um, but it is easier just to bite and eat them. Of course, keep a look at your O2 levels. And as soon as you see yourself suffocating, get back in until the blue bar goes all the way right. And then, of course, just keep watching out for the boats that will eventually try and come. And <laughs> boats don't come, but they will try to come and kill you with the divers on top. Hmm. But yeah, that is actually what will happen. Otherwise, kill the humans, and you're good to go. Ah! 
bounty has been put out. And now a dangerous army of lawless, trigger-happy sadists begin shooting anything that moves. A shark can live out of water. If this one doesn't return to the sea, she'll eventually find out. Anybody's going on turning anything up? She's surface. Hey, it's. Uh, 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 uh. Man oh man, why did that one seem uh, forever to complete? Now, obviously, depending on uh, where your infamy bar is at, you could always go for level 4 if you want to. Like I said, even if you die, the uh, bar on the right-hand side always remains the same, so you don't have to go back to the beginning, which definitely comes in handy and makes it very, very, just a little bit less grindy for us, which is good. But now we are going for the... Mako Hunt. No, oh, you hear me correctly. The H word is what I said there. And yes, I've made that joke a few times. And I'm going to continue to make that joke. Um, but otherwise, we are. that is just where we're heading uh, for the time being. Of course, like I said, unless you want to get your infamy level up to level 4 to get the next upgrade. Completely up to you. But since not, here is Mako Man. Mako Man, he's by a bunch of groupers, bro. Mako Man, come on, bro, I gotta kick your ass. Level 12, so he's slightly faster, um, but, you know, you should be on literally l around level 13 to 14, as long as you've been following the video, grabbing all the collectibles in each region, and killing all the fish on the way as well. Even a bit more if you've been grabbing the collectibles. So, kill Mr. Mako Man here. Import this Mako. And well, that was nice and easy. So now we've got, I think, one more quest to do before the Apex appears, I believe. Um, and this is for once again just killing 10 mackerels. Um, uh, yeah, and that's it. So, like I said, you can either fight these guys to get your infamy level up, or you can just simply just run away. Uh, literally doesn't matter. Uh, because we'll be getting it all later on. But as you can see, the next quest then is just to the bottom right corner of the map there. Big Mac. Oh my god, how could go for a Big Mac right now? The McDonald's burger, not a, a big fish. I can't fish to save my life. I would probably drown in a small puddle somehow. That's just me. But we are heading to that particular quest. So get your buns there, huns. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another.
Underneath the shark skin is a complex nerve network capable of assessing the strength and health of her prey. Whoopsie. Uh, you went to the wrong one. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> easy mistake to make though. And it doesn't, it only takes about five seconds off your life there. Uh, so here we go then, this is the area, again watch out for the Barracuda, watch out for the Mako, they will appear and try to eat you out. Uh, not in a good way, uh, so it's probably worth, like I said, it's probably worth, if you're feeling confident, this is where the confidence grows in the game now, the more and higher level that you are. Confidence grows, so it's probably worth just killing them first, and then doing your main side quest, whatever that is, but, of course, like I've said many a time, it's completely up to you, whatever you fancy to do. My belief pays off. As soon as you kill this last one, the apex slash boss slash whatever the hell you want to call it does appear. Um, now, for some reason, the apex obviously has appeared, so that is exactly where we're going next. Again, if you want to go back to the grotto, do a couple of upgrades, get on it, my hands. Um, I mean, we're going to go back to the grotto anyway, because it just saves literally a little bit of time to get there. But I genuinely found the Mako even easier than the Barracuda. Um, so, hey, that's a plus, right? So, that is what we're going to do then. There's nothing really else to say. You eat your way through some stuff. Press the B button to get your sonar out. And that is where we are going. Sultan of Speed, the Mako. So we're just going to be using the same tactic then. Every time the Mako goes to attack and he starts glowing, you just dodge with the right, right bumper. Obviously right trigger as much as you can and just literally what I would always do is just bite him sort of two or three times and then dodge him. Or what you can do is bite him two or three times, tail whip him and then dodge him just to get that extra bit of um hurt on him but generally this one is not too bad especially with the level we are at now Fast and, and there we go then see i told you easy as pie so we got the shark on shark violence achievement we've done the uh, apex boss of this area and our <laughs> our lady balls are growing ever bigger by the second so yeah, steroids and stuff, steak and rice, etc, etc. But we have now come to the point we have done all of the collectible, uh, all the collectibles. Uh, we've done all the main side quests, and uh, now as you can see in Fortic Bayou, the final two side quests have appeared. So, guess where we're going next? <laughs> Before we start doing all the collectibles, 
in uh, Golden Shores, we are actually going to go back to Fortic Bayou and do the side quests here. Now, to be honest, this kind of reminds you of going back to school or something, doesn't it? You know, back to where it all began, Remem remembering memories, good and bad. The ones that used to bully you, well, now you can go and eat their kids. Because you're a strong woman who don't need no bullies. But in all seriousness, I highly advise in real life to not go to your former school and beat up slash eat up your former bullies' kids. It's frowned upon a lot, apparently. Get revenge the old natural ways, sleeping with their mother, father or sibling. Hooray! <laughs> anyway, we've now got the bone fins. So that is, sorry, just while I was yammering on. Um, that is what we're going to be using, bone fins. And again, anytime you get any bone armor, oh, level 15, hello. So anytime you get any bone armor, whether it's fins, whether it's um, head armor or body armor, we're going to be upgrading that specifically to tier 5, uh, like I said, as, long, uh, as well as the shadow teeth. And it's going to basically make us the most steroid-infused shark of the ocean. And alligators, bro, you ain't pissed to me now. You ain't shit, son. Anyway, we're going back and we're going to uh, fly on the bio. The shark's movements are supple and precise. Now, I'm not actually sure why these um, quests appear a little bit later, because the alligators are still the same level, level 8, um, which, of course, we now, like I said, our nutsacks are growing completely mega by every single second, every fish that we eat. So I don't know why, but, hey, it's just the way the game is, and it's what we got to do. So kill all the catfish, and we'll go to the next quest. Underneath the shark's skin is a complex nerve network capable of assessing the strength and health of her prey. Taking out the trash, taking out the trash. Oh, how I hate taking out the trash. In real life, not in shark form. So, it is the same thing, kill the alligators, kill 10 catfish, and then finally the apex boss of this area will appear, and it is basically just a big old alligator, obviously. Uh, but he is not too bad, he's a level 21, he's a level 20 alligator is what I meant. Not bad though, not bad in the slightest, now that we know what to do, and our confidence is growing.
Right then, so, whole lot of Rosie. We now have the Apex appear, as I said. Now, killing this Apex will give us the 100% achievement for completing everything in uh, Fortic Bayou. Which is always good. Uh, the third time and the last time that we will be coming back here, thankfully. So, what we're going to do, and like I said, literally, now that you're at sort of this point, you know what to do in terms of, you know when to dodge, you know when they're going to charge you. A um, couple of bites, tail whip. When they glow, make sure to try and get as many bites in it as you can when they glow in. Obviously, uh, it depletes the health a little bit more. So, yeah. Honey. Honey pies, you got this. You have got this. We have got this, a little spin just for extra effect, and we have killed the Apex Predator, the Apex Alligator, oh, and another one just decided to come in for good use. Uh, you can go fudge yourself, thank you very much. And there we go, we completed all the collectibles in Bortic, Bortic Fayou, Fayou, Bayou, I can't even remember what the hell it's called, Bortic Bayou. <laughs> so now we are good, we are fantastic actually. So now we can actually just head back to Golden Shores and start all of the collectibles. Like I said, what I've done is there's going to be 30 seconds. Um, have a look at the all collectible collectible map. All collected collectible map. Again, you do whatever you want to do. Whether you want to follow me on the video. Whether you want to just pause the video and ha just keep uh, having a look at the map and doing it yourself. More than welcome to do whatever it is the helling that you're wanting. It's your life, and I don't want to tell you what to do. Otherwise, you will resent me. So here is said completed map. Again, Golden Shores is one that we will have to come back to a little bit later as there is an Elder Gate that we can't get past, um, but literally the majority we can do. Um, so again, you can either pause here, like I said, do it yourself, or just follow along with the rest of the video. Um, the, rest of the, vid the rest of this part will contain the rest of the Golden Shore collectibles, and then we're going to end that and go back. Uh, into part two, going into the next area's grotto. So, just enjoy. Like I said, any sort of complicated collectibles, I will appear. Um, but literally, a majority of them are just simple pimple.
traveling around with Using this medication, if you experience priapism, do not attempt to improvise your own surgical shunt. In the kill... An insatiable fish. instant Consistently the most difficult hole on the course, many golfers struggle with this par The bull shark is no... This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hitting... New 
USGA Rule 4.182 might have saved these damaged clubs from abandonment. This shark is a Tigaroos are part of a complete balanced breakfast for anyone aspiring to one day suffer from fatty liver disease. Diving is an exciting and growing field where you can risk alligators and venomous snakes for seven to ten cents per ball. Supercharged with gene altering mutagen. Hockey sticks are still legal according to Baton Tordu course rules, but not for long if membership director Doug Thompson has anything to say about it.
Some sharks are scavengers. Members of Baton Tordu who commissioned this piece apparently found it whimsical. Whereas if you ask me, it's a little... The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. This mineral supplement would Somebody's drinking team has a drowning problem. Propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted.
bullshit. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Dwarf. Righto, mate, righto, welcome back. Here I am. Have you missed me? I've missed you. So, like I said, we've got most of the collectibles in the area for the time being. Now we are going to um, take a little check in with a uh, big old Paley Skeet, old Scaly Pete, and his son Carl. He studies marine biology. Uh, as soon as you kill Mr. Mako Man. But that is what we're doing. Um, you know, you should literally be pretty much used to how this game works by now. So again, I, I do je definitely advise you to watch the cutscenes because they are brilliant and hilarious, if not sometimes extremely serious. Cow! But like I said, I'm gonna, just going to skip it, so apologies if you wanted to watch it on screen. Uh, yeah. I'll come out there! Ah, lovely jabbly job, mate! Fantastic! So, after we've done this then, that should now be the first three areas um, more or less completed. Of course, we've got Fortic Bayou completed 100%. We've still got to get the rest of the collectibles here in Golden Shores and Dead Horse Lake, which is very uh, yummily named, by the way. Who came up with that? I don't know. Um, but we will come back to those a little bit later on. For the time being, we are just going to go to Sapphire Bay. Grotto! And we're going to take a chill pill in there. But what I'm going to do is actually just leave you here. So thank, thank you so much for watching. This has been part one out of part three of the incredibly fantastic and very fun Man Eater. Um, we will actually be getting the majority of the game done in part two. Um, in terms of getting all the way, doing all the areas, getting all of the collectibles and fight, uh, facing the final boss so that will be in part two so again thank you so so much for watching guys and gals i really really do appreciate every view every comment every like and of course you know if you did enjoy the game if you enjoyed the guide don't forget of course to like comment subscribe and share with a friend as well don't forget of course to check me out on all my socials as well i'm on twitter instagram facebook patreon as well which by the way thank you so so much to everyone who is uh currently on my patreon channel I absolutely do appreciate it, including T.S. Penge, sorry, I really keep butchering your name, man, uh, Coast and Tim G84, you guys are absolute legends as well, so again, thank you so, so much for watching, let's get to the grotto, but I shall see you in part two, oh my god, it's getting deeper, oh my god, it's a swordfish!
shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. 